Hey guys, Dylan here. Uh, I wanted to record a video on how we expect you guys to put away your U.S. Foods orders. Uh, this information is correct as of June of 2014. Um, this video is for new employees on training days as well as for employees that have been previously trained as a refresher video. So deliveries come two or three times a week. It depends on your location. Orders are placed the day before, and they each have specific cutoff times. For Morgan Hill, they are due by 1.30 p.m. on Sundays and Wednesdays, because the delivery days for those stores are Monday and Thursday. Uh, for Watsonville Capitola Santa Cruz, they are due by 2 o'clock on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, because those delivery days are Monday, Thursday, Saturday. So just remember that the deliveries need to be in the day before they are delivered and by their specific cutoff time. If they're not in by the cutoff time, they will not be delivered the next day. So when dating dry toppings, you're going to write the day that they were received. So for example, in these pictures on the left, you've got a picture of gummy worms that were received on June 21st. Uh, you're just going to write the day that we got them. And on the right, you're seeing wafer straws, and that's an example of how you would FIFO, first in, first out, your dry products. You put the older products in the front, and your newer products go behind them, uh, preferably with the date facing out. And again, you would write the month and the day that they were received. So the next thing that I wanted to cover was opening the yogurt boxes. As you see on the left, there's a big stack of uh, yogurt gallons. And on the right there, you're seeing how we are dating them. So the date that you receive the yogurts is you add 12 days to that. So uh, I can't do this math off the top of my head, but the day that's going to go on these caps is 7-3. So 12 days from the day that you receive them is the day that goes on the cap. So this is also an example of FIFOing your yogurt. You're going to move the yogurt down the line so that your older yogurt is in the front. It looks like we have a, a June 14th on that picture on the left. And those gallons on the right are going to go behind them because they are 7-5. So you want to make sure that you use the oldest product first. So broken gallons. Um, we get credit for gallons that come to us broken. The one on the left there is an example of a puncture, so we cannot reuse that product because it's been punctured. Um, there's been times where we've had nails and pieces of wood that have been found you know, to puncture our yogurt gallons, and we can't use that because we don't know what has contaminated it. So those just get dumped down the drain. Your picture on the right is an example of a broken cap, or this one looks like it's a split. Um, you can use that, but when you receive it, you're going to put it in a clear bucket like those two gallons have been put into, so that when it thaws, everything that is below the crack line can be used because those are not punctures. Those are just cracks in the plastic. So whenever you get one, like the puncture on the left, let, uh, let the supervisor know to let uh, myself or one of your managers know so that we can submit it and get credit for it. So that is the end of this video. If you have any other questions, please ask someone who has put an order away before or your supervisor or whoever is training you. Thanks.